Well, it has now been almost 24 hours since we learned of the death of fallen Arvada police officer Dylan Vakoff, just 27 years old. And here's what we know about him. He is an Arvada native. He graduated from Ralston Valley High School in 2012, served in the Air Force for six years before joining Arvada police and was training to be a SWAT officer. He was shot and killed Sunday morning trying to break up a family disturbance and police do have a man in custody. There has been an overflow of community support since Vakoff's mm -hmm. death was announced by Arvada police yesterday. We want to get out to Denver 7's Christian Lopez right now. And Christian, uh, one landmark in Arvada looks different this morning, all in honor of Officer Vakoff. And this is just one of the many ways the community is honoring and remembering Officer Dylan Vakoff. We're going to zoom in and show you so you can get a close up look at the Arvada water tower that is all lit up in blue this morning. This is the second time this community has mourned the loss of a police officer in just a little over a year. In 2021, Officer Gordon Beasley was shot and killed during an ambush attack in Old Town Arvada. He also spent 19 years serving with the police department. Officer Dylan Vakoff was with the department since 2019, but he left a big mark in this city. All throughout the day yesterday, people were stopping at his memorial to drop off flowers and pay their respects. Several people who had never even met Officer Vakoff, but were touched by the dedication he had when it came to protecting them, including a nine-year-old girl who says that she wants to be a police officer when she grows up. If he lived here, a while, that means he probably had a lot of love for this city. I hope he's happy wherever he is. I don't think there really are any words, except I'm just so, I'm sorry and I'm saddened and I'm sickened, really. The Arvada Police Department says his sacrifice will never be forgotten. They've also shared a donation link, and you can find that on our website, denver7.com. Live in Arvada this morning, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the city of Arvada knows this all too well. Thank you, Christian. We've reported this is the second officer the Arvada Police Department has lost in a little more than a year. But there's hope body camera footage from yesterday's incident might help provide some clarity as to what happened. The chief mentioned it was a chaotic scene. The Arvada Police Department rolled out body cameras for their officers just in July when Officer Gordon Beasley was shot in Old Town last summer. The department faced scrutiny for the lack of body cams to help provide information on the events of that day. Two dozen cyclists finished their bike across the state yesterday. They're raising money to buy bulletproof vests for 10 Colorado law enforcement agencies. Riders say after the death of Officer Vakoff, the last leg of their ride took on a very different tone. The loss of the Arvada officer today, um, I'm glad we still had some riding to do because that gave us 90 miles to really be here, not only for each other, but to really do something for the community and give a little bit back in whatever small way we can.